Uh, but with that said, I want to talk about uh, another famous student of yours, George St. Pierre. Mm. Very different than Gordon. Yes. Very different attributes. I would say, my, if somebody asked me what made George so successful, there are many things, but one of them was his enthusiasm for training. Yes. I, I he always concur. found a way to pump himself up for training. Like, get, like, he was happy to be there. He was, okay, it was tough. It was certain training camps were hell, yes, but he'd find a way to get that motivation. And he's a very motivating guy in the practice room. He'll beat you up and like convince you to come back tomorrow. Yeah. Let's do it again. You yeah. know, and he would he would beat you up in a nice way. George yeah. is the sweetest guy in practice. Never hurts his partners. But I wouldn't have trained as hard if it wasn't for George. He would convince me that tomorrow is a good thing to do it again. The whole thing, yeah, the whole thing from morning to night. Like, it was an incredible amount of f f training. Yes, yeah. yeah. He was really, um, he was the guy that changed the face of mixed martial arts. He's the one mm -hmm. who brought the idea of professional fight camps into uh, mm -hmm. MMA. Before that, it was kind of like a cowboy approach where guys just brought in a few buddies a couple of weeks before a, uh, a fight, um, did whatever kind of random training that they thought was appropriate, and they went in there and fought. George was the first person to bring in specialized experts uh, employ strategy tactics. Um, he united everybody. Yeah, yeah. It was, a, it was a remarkable man. An incredible person. Nobody could bring together a practice group like George. Like um, he was, he had a magnetic personality. You'd love to help him out. You, he made you feel. He made everybody feel welcome, special, uh, part of the team, part of his success. Um, I've never seen trainers be so happy to see. Like sometimes trainers. They don't want to show you too much. George was the opposite. Oh, show him everything. This is such a good guy. Yeah. Everybody absolutely adored him. There was very little friction in the group, and it had to do a lot to do with his personality. Yeah. He's an, he was an incredible athlete. Not just physically, but in terms of, of creating synergy, like we were talking about the other day. Um, I've never seen an athlete create synergy like him. Yeah. Now, uh, George is an embodiment of um, uh, the old martial arts principle of, of mutual benefit. He, mm. Everyone who came to his camps benefited, and he benefited from them. And uh, that was the, the core principle of everything he did in martial arts. Who was it that was saying, you were telling me says mutual benefit? Was it was it Kano? Kano. Kano. Yeah. Kano, the founder of uh, judo. judo. Yeah, that's right. Okay, guys. This is the conclusion. John, I want to thank you so much. Thank you for uh, Give me a hug. <laughs> You're one of my favorite people in the world. I've learned so much from this man. Maybe I get him to do a second podcast. Uh, we've got some time to kill before the fights. Uh, who knows? Maybe I get you guys to, uh, to hear some more of him. Thank you, guys. Please like, share, and comment. Make sure to go to Arab Fanatics. What's, what's it called again? <laughs> BJJ Fanatics. Oh, BJJ Fanatics. It's okay for them to be called Fanatics, but oh, us, no. All of a sudden, I'm, my website's just shut down. <laughs> okay, guys, make sure to check out John's material, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.